Hello students, myself Adil Hussain Sheikh and welcome back to the lecture series of ACET subjects and today we are going to discuss about very first chapter of the ACET gasoline of overview of gasoline direct injection systems. In this particular chapter we are going to discuss about introduction of GDA systems as well as technology and potential of high efficiency direct injection gasoline systems as well as high pressure fuel injection systems and emission systems and after treatment device. So let us start all the topic one by one. So first one is the innovation in injection technology. As we know that injection technology start with the carburetor body. Uh, earlier stage we have a carburetor body in our SI engines. So why carburetor obsolete nowadays because of its less supply of air fuel ratio for multi-cylinder engines as well as uh, high power output for multi-cylinder engines. So automotive industry developed MPFI body. What is the meaning of MPFI body? Multi-point fuel injection systems and what is the meaning of MPFI? MPFI means LMPFI body and DMPFI, DMPFI body it is the one type of conventional injection system which can use injectors as well as spark plugs simultaneously. Right? In MPFI body we get more power compared to the carburetor body but Nowadays, in our, uh, in our new era of the 2020 and 2020, up to 2025, we are going to use direct injection systems in our combustion technology. Basically, direct injection technology use mainly two types of engines, first generation engines and second generation engines and both of these engines effectively used nowadays in automotive industries. Now, let us discuss about mixture formation of the combustion process. Basically there are two types of mixture. First one is homogeneous combustion mixtures and second one is heterogeneous combustion mixtures. Generally homogeneous combustion mixtures form in the petrol engines, generally SI engines and heterogeneous combustion form generally produced in CI engines. Both have its own advantage compared to its uh, SI engines as well as CI engines and both have limitations as well as applications in particularly IC engines. Now let us discuss introduction and mainly types of combustion modes. So first one is the ultra lean mode. We can say that ultra lean as its name air is more compared to the fuel particularly this type, this type of mixture used for high running condition when no acceleration required. Second thing is the stoichiometric mode as we can say that is the ideal mixture. 14.7 gem 1. It is a standard mixture for both SI and CI engines. So, we can compare it with both SI engines and CI engines parallelly. In this particular engine, uh, in this particular mode, run, uh, used for a moderate running conditions as well as where optimum combustion required. Generally, we cannot optimum, we cannot produce optimum combustion uh, while combustion process, but it is the ideal standard mode and last one is the full power output mode as we as we can say that there is a more fuel power output requ requirement compared to the ultra lean mode or stoichiometric mode. In this particular mode rapid combustion occurs and when we are required heavy acceleration so at that time we are going to use full power output mode compared to the ultra lean mode as well as stoichiometric mode. Now next thing is that potential and technologies for high efficiency direct injection gasoline engines. So mainly there are three types of direct injection system uh, basically now basically used nowadays in all IC engines. The so first one is the wall guided system, second one is the air guided systems and third one is the spray guided direct injection system. So let us discuss all the systems one by one. So first one is the wall guided direct injection system. As you can see in figure right. In this engines with wall guided injection technology the distance between spark plug and injection nozzle is relatively high. As you can see in figure the distance between spark plug and nozzle is relatively very high. So we can say that in this particular uh, wall guided combustion technology in order to get the fuel close to the spark plug and it is sprayed against the swill cavity of the top of the pistons. Means with the help of piston guy, uh, with the help of piston wall uh, directly spray uh, achieved a direction towards the spark plug and get a better atomization at the particular point of the 
combustions and the injection timing depends upon the piston speed as well as uh, injection timing and what is the injection timing regarding advance or it may be regarded. So, it mainly depends upon piston speed, injection timing, spark plug location, injector location as well as it also depends upon which kind of nozzle going to be used in this particular system. So, this is the particular wall guided system and in wall guided system also the injection timing depends upon the piston speeds as well as uh, its advanced timing uh, respectively. We can say that engines with wall guided system can suffer from high hydrocarbons emissions, right. See, Every system has its own advantages, disadvantages and its applications. So, particularly this wall guided systems have one advantage this uh, is that it produce more hydrocarbons compared to spray guided systems and air guided systems. So, let us discuss air guided direct injection systems. In air guided direct injection system, the distance between the spark plug and injection nozzle is relatively very high like wall guided system right uh, and we can I can say that wall guided systems and air guided system is quite similar ok and we can use both system at a time in our combustion process and instead of spraying the fuel against a swill cavity in air guided injection system the fuel is guided towards the spark plug solely by intact air. So, here we cannot use any piston geometry we cannot use any kind of uh, relative motion between in, uh, injection of uh, injection of fuel and air ratio, right. Second thing is that in air guided systems, location of spark plug and location of injector is particular, let, uh, is particular point. So, we can get better homogenized mixture in this particular injection technology. Now, in practice, a combination of air guided and wall guided injection used simultaneously in uh, single injection uh, single IC engine systems. Now, let us discuss spray guided system, spray guided direct injection system. In engines with spray guided direct injection technology, the distance between the spark plug and injectors nozzle is relatively very low. Remember that in air guided and wall guided systems, the distance between the spark plug and injector is very Hi, but in wall in spray guided system, the distance between the injectors and spark plug is very low comparatively. So, both the injection nozzle and spark plug are located between the cylinder walls, right? Means relatively very low and uh, means distance between the nozzle as well as injector is comparatively very low between both inlet wall and outlet wall. So you can. Uh, in schematic, you can see that the distance between the uh, spark plug and injector is very low. So, uh, fuel uh, uh, f spraying fuel is directly con connect with the uh, spark plug tip. Okay, and the fuel is injected during the later stages of the compression stroke, causing very quick mixture formation. We can say that it's homogenized formation, right? So, in spray guided system, the spark plug must be place in a such a way that is exactly in the zone where the mix, mixture is ignitable, ok. So, we can say that spark plug is located very near to injector. So, upcoming charge can easily burnt without any loss of efficiency. See, mainly there are four kinds of efficiency. First one is volumetric efficiency, second thing is thermal efficiency, third one is mechanical efficiency and fourth one is relative efficiency. But, uh, see, Right. So, in this particular uh, spray guided system, volumetric efficiency play main important role. So, in this system, we are going to utilize most of the volumetric uh, uh, volumetric flow of air and fuel and we can get better volumetric, volumetric efficiency in spray guided system. So, this is the uh, modes of the direct injection technology and this is the remaining questions for uh, for your uh, for your uh, assignments first, first first one is the explain spray guided direct injection system second is the explain wall guided direct injection system third one is the explain air guided direct injection systems what is homogeneous mixtures and what is heterogeneous mixtures 
in upcoming lectures we are going to discuss about after treatment devices lean nox trap mixtures as well as how can we reduce emission coming out through gdi system because emission play vital role in our uh, pollution uh, pollution control and how can we reduce this types of emission from particularly engine location and which kind of catalytic catalytic converter we are going to use in this particular systems okay so till that stay home and thank you